Now we will talk about opposites and absolute value. The negative of a number is sometimes called its opposite. So the opposite of 7 is negative 7. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And again, we typically write that without the little positive sign there. But the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Now look at this. The opposite of the opposite of 5. Well, that would just be 5. Because the opposite of 5, this thing right here, the opposite of 5 is negative 5. And the opposite of that is simply 5. So the opposite of a number is simply the number on the other side of the origin, the other side of 0 on the number line. So if you picture, picture the number line here, 0, 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So here's the number 2. The opposite of that is the number negative 2. Both of these numbers are the same distance from 0, the same distance from the origin. They're just on opposite sides, so they are opposites of each other. So there's this geometrical interpretation to these little negative numbers. And that's very important, thinking of the number 3, for example, and the opposite of 3. Being able to picture this in your head and picturing one in one place to the right of 0 and the other over here in the other place, the same distance to the left of 0. That's important to understand. The distance that a number is from the origin is called the absolute value of the number absolute value. That's the distance a number is from the origin. And remember, the origin is the zero point, the absolute value. And you can visualize absolute value by looking at the number line. Uh, we'll just look at the numbers 5 and negative 5 here. 5 is right there. And it is 5 units from the origin. And the number negative 5 over here is also five units from the origin. So the absolute value of five is the distance that five is from zero, and that is simply five. The absolute value of negative five is the distance that negative five is from zero. So how far is negative five from zero? Well, it's five units away from zero, so it's also five. And this would be the case for any number, not just the number 5 and, and, and its corresponding negative number, negative 5. The absolute value of a positive number is always that number. And the absolute value of a negative number is its opposite. So the absolute value of negative 8 would be 8. The absolute value of negative 50,000 would be 50,000. And the absolute value of 0 is 0. Try to remember that the absolute value of a number doesn't depend on the sign of the number, whether it's positive or negative. It depends only on the number's distance from the origin. And that's how absolute value is defined. It's defined as the distance of a number from the origin, from 0.